Timmy trained a linear regression model once. He thought, wow, I've mastered machine learning. Then he discovered TensorFlow, where he can stack layers without knowing what's happening under the hood. Timmy proudly calls himself a deep learning engineer, even though he couldn't explain a neural network if his life depended on it. And then there's Peter. Peter is built different. While Timmy is copy pasting TensorFlow code, Peter is building music transformers, distilling models, and designing image capture networks. Projects that poor Timmy doesn't even know exist. Peter appreciates and makes use of PyTorch, but also understands the underlying math. Today I'm going to show you three AI ML projects that will separate the Timmys from the Peters. Let's dive in. Imagine a professor that knows everything about machine learning. He's brilliant, but speaks in equations, takes hours to answer questions, and needs a massive library to run. This is like a large neural network, powerful, but expensive to use. One day a student comes along. He listens to every lecture, summarizes all the notes, and learns to think like the professor, but in a simpler, more efficient way. Suddenly he can explain complex topics in seconds, making him a lot more useful in the real world. This is model distillation, when a small model Model, the student model learns from a larger model, the teacher, retaining its knowledge but running much faster. Companies use this technique to compress massive AI models into small ones that can run on your phone. I highly recommend this project, and before you start building it, make sure to read the original paper by Geoffrey Hinton. Unlike most machine learning papers, this one's actually pretty easy to read. Picture a concert pianist or any kind of instrument player. They've spent years perfecting their craft. One day a friend sends him a new piece and says, what do you think? The pianist or music player listens carefully and says, it sounds like Chopin or some other famous composer, but something's different. Plays it on the piano and analyzes all the notes. His friend says, this is AI generated music and the pianist's mind is blown. This is the power of music transformers. AI models trained on thousands of compositions to sound human. And these models don't just copy, they learn the structure, patterns, and emotion within music. Because transformers can take in any kind of sequence, you can pass in a music sequence, not just text. The catch is that the attention mechanism has to be modified, making this project pretty tricky but worthwhile. If you want to build this project, make sure to read this paper and be really good at PyTorch. Final project. Imagine a blind man walks into a cafe. He holds up his phone, taps a button, and his phone describes to him exactly what's in front of him. A barista is making coffee and a woman sitting by the window. He smiles. Before this technology, he had to rely entirely on others. Now, AI helps him see. This is made possible with image captioning architectures. They take in an image, analyze the features, and spit out a string that describes what's in the image or video. Companies like Microsoft and Google are already using these architectures to build technology that aids in accessibility for millions of visually impaired people. If you wanna build this project, you're gonna to wanna to know PyTorch really well, you're gonna to wanna to use a CNN for the encoder and a transformer for the decoder. For the dataset, the Coco dataset is a great one. I'll link it in the description. If you found those projects interesting and you're thinking about going into AI engineering, watch this video on why you shouldn't be an AI engineer. In the video, I go over the two types of people who should not be an AI engineer. Check it out. You don't want to miss it. And of course, don't be a TensorFlow Timmy.